Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress and I'm here to do your full moon reading um, in Aries, your own sun sign for the 13th of October 2019. And what this full moon means for you, Aries, there's going to be some feeling of uncertainty, but this is going to be a good thing. It's going to make you solve your problems faster than what is natural to you. So it's telling you not to rush as if there was a deadline. Because that's what Aries are like. They're like a bullet gate. So you need to try to slow down around this full moon. Um, so that it is that you can decide what you want to do and proceed at your own comfortable pace. Now, organs that are influenced around this full moon Aries is the head area. Which is what you govern. And you could be having problems with your teeth your tongue, you may be um, having gallbladder problems or just watch your arteries and your blood flow this um, full moon. For the males, definitely uh, the genital area and if you're looking to um, have surgery around this time, I strongly recommend that you don't do it around the full moon period. Now I have picked a significated card from the Easy Astrology Oracle Deck by May White to represent this full moon for you Aries and in the Native American Indian almanac it's it's uh, known as the hunter moon so I'm going to use the Native American oracle cards here by Masima Rotunda, Laura Tatuan and Kaya Walker and this is going to tell me what we're looking at now this card is definitely um, about risks about you initiating action here and it's also um, about what you create because the moon is definitely an emotional and creative card now it's about your abilities tapping it into your elemental power and also um, getting immediate responses here so this is the Cockapelli the Demurish and Cockapelli is the uh, young god of music. So it's about fertility. So maybe something that you've uh, been working on, it may be at new stages that um, possibly is um, your baby at the moment. But if you can see this Cockapelli is uh, using the flute and as he plays the flute, the snake or sexual energies awakens and natural forces of the world stir to life. So what this means is um, Cockapelli's consort, who's also honoured as the mother of the divine race. So all the children born with natural special talents are descended from this uh, woman. Now we are reminded that whenever we step into our personal power or gifts, we are tapping into the powerful energy of the cockapelli. So we can never be quite sure what the results will be or what energies will uh, that we will awaken here, Aries. Just those natural results will unfold quickly here. So this moon is about bringing creativity, music and abundance into your life with this card. Now... I have pulled some cards from the Enchanted Lenormand deck. But uh, what this card is really telling you here is to be courageous and use your gifts that you have. Do, uh, it's telling me not to shy away from risks, but engage life with your whole body, your mind, heart and spirit. So this is you, Aries. This is what you can do. Now, I have picked some cards here from the Enchanted Lenormand deck, and what f has fallen out for you is the woman. This is a foreign woman, the star, the clouds, and underneath is the anchor. So this is definitely a career matter and your long-term goals. So they do look positive. This is your dreams that are awakening here, Aries. And uh, it is to do with a creative field, I believe. Now... There is some uncertainty about this, and this might be about the risk that you um, are fearing to take. As the clouds do disperse, you will get some clarity on this matter. 
Now, I've also pulled a card from the um, Wisdom of Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. And what fell out for you was return to silence. So this is the message around this moon for you here, Aries. And I'm going to read from the book for you. So what this is telling me, as you observe the image on this card, now I'm not sure if you can see that. So as you look at this card here, Aries, feel or reflect the beauty within you. So the gracious uh, swirls of love flowing eternally, as you can see them in the background here, in perfect union with all. So this card has shown up in your reading today to remind you that the true essence of life exists not in the external world but within you. So if there is confusion, just like the clouds here, it's telling you, or uh, maybe if you've got confusion or trouble in your life, that it's time to remember the clarity you seek will not be found in the outside world. So you need to go within, within yourself here, Aries. And um, the answers are inside you. So pretty much um, if you're confused, it's a result of scattered in energy. So the constant thoughts we emanate as we struggle for answers. So return to the peace and tranquility that exists within your soul. The harder you try, the greater confusion we create for ourselves. So you will get some clarity. And I will pull another card here as I've done. So um, life's not meant to be a struggle. So stop getting caught up in your external events and start listening to your inner voice. So maybe there's too much inner chatter going on inside Aries. And it's just because of fear. That's all it is know that you you're a go-getter you're the leader of the sun signs you're a pioneer so definitely um don't let that get in the way of anything so you need to do some meditation the peace and clarity you seek is within you so that's a beautiful message too now i'm going to pop that back so it's definitely returning to silence going in within just to get that clarity you need and we've also got from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed, we've got the Spiral Dancer as your outcome. Now, this is about your own perception here. And Spiral Dancer moves with her own rhythm of steps and music only she can hear. So this is where you're going within, hearing your own beat, your own rhythms. And this spiral dance will take you on a path that is winding and circular now it's funny that that card said that because we have the snake under underneath and this is someone that's um can um transform themselves can manipulate can also move in different directions so this person's taking on a winding circular um rhythm she assures you that what your experience is as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. So this is not about um, you taking 10 steps back here, Aries. Perception is everything. So you're not retracing your steps or going backwards, but rather around and up. So you're going in a different motion. Instead of straight ahead, you're taking a little bit of a winding road. So she says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure and experience. You must follow her. She dances along a magical way. If you ask about a relationship here, Aries, keep on dancing and magic will soon happen. Also, you can also um, allow someone else to take the lead at this time and make sure to let others know that you're open to ideas as well. Always remember that relationships are mirrors and will show you the past, the present and the potential future. All relationships have destiny. Each is a sacred teacher with valuable lessons to share. And even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions. So all the steps are perfect. Even when you may seem to be stumbling a little bit, the spiral dance is a reminder that your destiny's true path is seldom straight. So you're going to get those little windy bumps in the road. 
there is definitely um, a quick decision to make and this is about your ambition here about some of you may want to go alone this is maybe you reflecting going within and reflecting here so don't worry about this winding road or the little bit of a setback because it's not actually a setback it's just taking you in a different direction and you will get there Aries and you definitely have some decisions that are coming up a lot of opportunities are coming for you so that's around the um, full moon and it is in your sun sign Aries I hope this has helped for around the 13th of October 2019 love and blessings see you again soon bye for now